And he said that when he started reciting his own poetry, he didn't stutter. And that's the and the teacher, but the teacher did it on purpose. And he says, and the teacher told him, so now we found your voice. Now we know how to. Now we're gonna. T I'm gonna teach you how to harness it. Mm. So, uh, so I, I I know that because James Earl Jones said that, and I saw it in a video on YouTube. I've been watching that video for a while, not because of its recent passing, but I've been seeing it for a while because uh, I, I like deep uh, uh, meditative voices to help me go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and his voice, and his voices, <laughs> it'll get you there. <laughs> it'll get you there. You know, I found out too because I was gonna pass along something. He actually lived up in upstate New York, like mm. Dutchess County area. Um, okay. Supposedly, he fell in love with the area when he was visiting with friends, and he bought like a bunch of like lands together. And he just, I guess, I don't know if he rebuilt on those other lands, but the house that he was, you know, his last living days was a, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. I mean, like, okay. very simple. I mean, he not like these giant mansions you see that these actors just and actresses buy it was just very simple nice pool a lot of land it was like a farmland almost but no you know it was just all green well he used to talk about uh that when he was a kid uh he lived in mississippi yeah uh, and that he uh, basically was raised barefooted so he liked to like touch with his feet uh the the soil of the land and he said he he didn't touch the he didn't go back there until like in his late teens or early twenties, and he says that the the warmth that he felt that when he came back uh, that he felt like back home, like uh, when and he even took off his shoes to feel the dirt again. 